All right, as promised, I, uh, I'm going to do another video. None of these videos that are going to be coming up are going to be edited. I just don't have the time. So it's going to be a straight take, and it is what it is. But I just wanted to take a short, quick video to show you that we're getting there. The, the, the carriage is on. Uh, I'm going to put some more of the rest of the, the knobs and stuff back and um, yeah it's uh, it's looking good so yeah this video is just gonna show this took a lot of time to put on <laughs> this carriage you know by yourself it's it is a challenge but if you take your time you think about it you can do it I did it um, yep so yeah here we go so here it is this is on the next thing is to put the rest of the stuff on and I have a bunch of pictures I took that I don't know how I'm gonna put it in a video just I don't have an I don't have any editing software anymore and I don't want to go through all that so but I do have a bunch of pictures if anybody knows how to put regular pictures up on as a video on YouTube I that would be great then you can see all these pictures I took um, but uh, it looks good it's on there I didn't drop nothing <laughs> thankfully and uh, I didn't get hurt or nothing so this thing's pretty heavy. It's a beast. Um, so I guess the next couple of videos are going to show. I'm going to. I got to. The tailstock is done. I just got to put it together, and put it on the machine, clean the ways up a little bit, and um, you know, get the motor drive and some of the other stuff secured so I can get this machine working like I said in my other video the Colchester is for sale if you're looking for a vintage 1966 Colchester this is a 15 inch by 48 inch lathe uh, that I had look on Northwest Indiana's Craigslist and you'll see uh, you know what I got up there but all right, that's going to be it. Until next time, thanks for watching.